fittest. Ten hours later, the strongest of 300 million sperm is the one to pass on its genes. So far, there's no sign of conception. We're totally unaware that we're about to embark on a new chapter in our lives. Over the next 40 weeks, a single cell will develop into a perfectly formed baby. Often, the first symptom is morning sickness. No one knows for sure what causes the nausea. One theory is that it protects the fetus from toxins in food, which could harm its organs during this critical phase of development. Another theory is that nausea is a side effect of the mother's immune system as it weakens to avoid attacking the developing embryo. The fetus is effectively a parasite. It saps the mother's energy as it draws what it needs from her body. It has its own life support system, the placenta. Here, the mother's blood passes nutrients across a membrane into the fetal blood. With this constant supply of nourishment, the fetus grows over 30 ounces in its first 10 weeks. The uterus expands to 1,000 times its normal size, just to hold it. That extra space has to come from somewhere, so the mother's body rearranges itself internally. This woman isn't pregnant, but her organs are still a tight fit. In a pregnant woman, the organs get squeezed and some are pushed up into her chest. Not only are the organs squished, now they're working for two. The lungs and heart work harder than ever before. To make space, muscles and tendons in the spine relax and it curves out of its normal shape. The stomach is also compressed and rotated through 45 degrees. It can only hold small amounts of food and drink and still, the growing baby demands more. After nine months, it's time to give birth. And pushing out a seven pound baby can be quite a challenge. Softened tendons allow the pelvis to open up the birth canal. But even so, it's a cramped space. Volumetic imaging shows the claustrophobic route the baby has to take, with a tight twist to get around the tailbone. Sometimes it's too tight of a squeeze for mother and baby. The only option for a safe delivery is surgery, a cesarean section.
from a newborn baby to becoming a parent in 30 years. The circle of life goes on. Our 20s are behind us. Our bodies are about to enter a new period of change as the aging process takes hold. Some experts believe that we all start aging from the moment we're born. The body's repair systems compensate. But now, the repair systems themselves are aging. The changes in our appearance are getting noticeable. We're in our 40s. The cumulative effect of years in the sun causes the first symptom, wrinkles. Since birth, our skin cells have replenished our skin at an astonishing rate. We can make up to 30,000 new skin cells every minute to replace the dead cells we're constantly shedding. By 45, we've created more than 400 pounds of dust from old skin cells. Whatever our age, our skin cells are never more than a few months old. The skin cells are fine. The problem is the stuff that binds them together, collagen. Ultraviolet radiation in sunlight triggers a molecular chain reaction that degrades collagen. The fibers get thin and break. Our skin loses elasticity and we get wrinkles. Our eyesight is also changing. A few years ago, we could easily read without glasses. The problem is in the lens. Inner lens cells, along with heart cells and most brain cells, are among the only cells our bodies never replace. They're exactly the same lens cells we had as babies. As we get older, the lenses gradually stiffen. They don't focus as well. And our eyes start to dry out. We produce less fluid to lubricate the eye and fewer tears to flush out debris. Middle age also changes the shape of our bodies. Exercise alone isn't enough to keep us in shape anymore. At 20, it was easy. We could eat what we wanted, do what we wanted. Now our metabolism is changing and it's easier to put on weight. The explanation is in our blood. In middle age, the level of several hormones start to drop. Estrogen, testosterone, and growth hormones. And we start to lose lean muscle. We lose about six and a half pounds of muscle during each decade of our adult lives. Less muscle means the body burns fewer calories. We need less fuel.
If we continue to eat like we used to, the surplus food gets converted into this, fat. For women, fat tends to go to their hips. It's the body's way of providing a steady energy supply for pregnancy. Men store fat in a different area, their bellies. Belly fat evolved for quick energy release. It helped sustain our male ancestors during hunting trips. Our ability to metabolize fat slows down as we age. Inside each cell in our bodies, there are tiny structures called mitochondria. These are the body's power plants. They combine nutrients from food with oxygen from the lungs to release energy. As we get older, the number of mitochondria dwindles and we lose the ability to metabolize fat as efficiently. Too many calories and a drop in metabolic rate can be a lethal combination. Fat is much more than an extra inch on our waistline. It spreads throughout the entire body. For the first time, a high-definition endoscope inserted through the navel reveals the full extent of fat cover inside the abdomen. The intestines are smothered in yellow fat deposits. Fat finds its way into almost every available space of our bodies, even inside our blood vessels. Deposits build up on the inner walls, narrowing the tube. The heart has to work harder to pump blood through the restricted vessels. In extreme cases, fat can block the vessels completely. If fat blocks the arteries that supply the heart, the result can be fatal. The heart muscles are deprived of oxygen and nutrients. The muscle risks going into spasm, a heart attack. Heart disease is the biggest killer in the Western world. Fat isn't the only risk to our health as we age. Stress also plays a damaging role. Middle age life is stressful. Holding down a job and raising teenage kids. Stress is exhausting, but the damage doesn't stop there. It also speeds up the aging process. Fifty years old. Our bodies may be slowing down, but our lifestyles aren't. A growing family and a demanding career add up to another influence on the aging process, stress. We all recognize the outward signs of stress. Sweaty palms, shortness of breath, a dizzy feeling. But the real damage takes place inside. Our bodies instinctively shift into fight or flight mode. Hormones, adrenaline, and cortisol